All right, folks. Swamp Booger 1, back again. Today I'm deep out in Blackwater State Forest in Northwest Florida. Not too far from where I heard the roar that I'll never forget vibrated my soul. And a couple of months after, well, it was actually a couple of years after that roar, we were back in the same area and got a, a whoop response. It was mumbling and then an aggressive bark and then a whoop, which now after researching it more, I realized that that mumbling was chatter and it was female chatter. It sounded like a woman talking some gibberish and then it let out an aggressive bark like a dog bark like a big dog and then a clear whoop, whoop and the whoop I could never replicate but I've, I've listened to them online the Sierra sounds and different videos like that and it sounds just like the, that stuff I don't know if the Sierra sounds had whoops or not I can't remember but I know that whoops that's been recorded that's to believe from an actual believed to be from an actual Sasquatch it sounded just like that. I don't see how a person could whoop like that. But, uh, yeah, it was the same. There's something off in the distance over that way. It almost sound like a dog barking, which we're pretty far back here. But the, uh, the whoop that I heard that day, I mean, there's no doubt. It, it's for real Sasquatch in these woods. I'm nervous even being here, okay? I'm right here next to the truck with the door open so I can get in and get the hell out of here real quick if I have to. So I'm not going and walking through these paths or nothing, but I see a nice pine tree right here. I got a baseball bat, and I'm going to do a couple of knocks. I know a lot of people say, what is that? Come on, focus in, focus in. Please, God, let this thing focus. Folks, just bear with me because I see something through there. It looks kind of out of place. All right, it's not gonna focus. Something over there is like blonde color, tan color. And it just looks totally out of place. But uh, who knows? It might be over there watching us. It looks kind of thin from what I could see. If the damn camera would cooperate, I'd zoom in on it better. But I think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's nothing too spectacular but yeah the whoop that we heard that day the chatter the female chatter the aggressive bark it all came from the same direction it all came from the same animal if it wasn't the same animal then these two animals were right next to each other and I think it was the same uh, animal or creature I should say I should say 
because it like mumbled something. It was a female voice, but it mumbled some kind of, it was like chatter. You couldn't understand what it said. And then it uh, let out an aggressive bark. It sounded like a, like a Rottweiler or a pit bull or something barking. And then it went whoop. And you could clearly hear the whoop. I mean, it was just clear as day. It sent chill bumps up my spine. Had my son with me. We had our two small dogs with us. And uh, you could tell they were all on, on edge. So, anyway, I'm back now today. It's a rainy day. And uh, the trail's real muddy and stuff. I don't have a four-wheel drive. I definitely do not want to get stuck back here. It's almost dark. So, instead of driving up and down all these trails, exploring, looking for Bigfoot, I decided, hey, I'll just stop here, make a quick short video, and knock on this tree. And I also was hearing some barking off in the distance, which I don't know, maybe it is that creature. I don't know. I mean, I, I found out recently about this thing called Dog Man. And, uh, it's got me all spooked out, you know. I'm telling you, man, these, these woods here are known to have Bigfoot in them. So I am very on edge. I've been listening to uh, Sasquatch Chronicles and the other one, uh, Sasquatch Theory, where all these people have encounters and stuff. Man, I'm creeped out. I'm starting to really wonder if these things aren't something physical, but they really are like... Like fallen angels or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry about the camera, folks. I should have got out here earlier when the sun was higher. And this camera seems to film much better, much better quality when the sun's up. It's starting to get dark. But we're out here, so I'm going to do some tree knocks anyway. You know, you never know. People say it's, it's stupid to do tree knocks and whoops and all that, but we were doing whoops one day, and like I said, we got a, some chatter, a bark, and a, a distinct whoop. I mean, you could hear it clear as day. We got it back doing them. So, and we didn't pass by nobody out here that day. I haven't passed by nobody out here today and I've been driving around back here probably about an hour and a half and I haven't passed by nobody. I've seen some tire tracks but they're pretty, they've been rained over pretty good so it's probably from a couple hours ago. The rain's kind of slacked up right now so I got out of the truck, I heard a bark, just remember I heard a bark coming from that direction which is to my southwest from here. Now, a couple miles down, there is a creek that people visit. It may be somebody down there with a dog. So we'll just leave it at that. I'll do some tree mark, some uh, tree knocks. We'll see if we get any response. Might get lucky in this thing actually. Record the response. I don't know if the mic on here is good enough or not. But hell, I'm out here. I'm trying. So bear with me. Alright, I've done three knocks. They were pretty solid. I got a baseball bat. 
They sounded loud. This old trail runs for a couple miles through here. And way back at the end of it, uh, well, right before you get to the end of it, about 100 yards, I guess, before you get to the end of it, off to the left, there's another trail that's only about 50 yards long. And then you can park at the end of it and get out, and it goes up into the woods, crosses over this cool little bridge that crosses over a little creek. And uh, you go over that bridge, walk 60, 70 yards, and then there's this trail that goes off to the right, and way down that trail is where we heard the roar when we were riding four-wheelers and we took a break. And as soon as we shut the four-wheelers off, we, we were at the end of this trail. And man, this thing let out a roar. I'm not kidding you. I, the first thing that went through my mind was a jet engine. I know I've said this story before, but folks, this is the God Almighty truth. I, it sounded like a jet was real close and hit its thrusters. And then, but it only lasted for like a second. But you could feel it, man. Vibe. You could feel it vibrating. Almost thought I heard something. I'm on edge back here. I'm scared, folks. I've been listening to those Sasquatch videos, people's encounters, and I'm freak. I'm freaked out. freaked out every little noise I'm like on edge but uh that roar man you could feel it vibrating you and now after watching these other people have encounters and vocals they, they're talking about this stuff called infrasound that hits you and I think that's what we got hit with was infrasound because you could feel it I'm not kidding man you could feel it vibrating everything inside your body even your clothes are like was moving, vibrating from it. This was serious. This is a serious roar. There's all kinds of broke trees back there. Broke and twisted trees. These are good sized trees with green leaves. These aren't dead trees, man. These trees were nice and healthy and strong and something just just snapped them and twisted them. Okay, I heard something. I'm getting close to the door to get up out of here. something over there on that side of the road I don't seem to be like I don't, I don't I hate looking like a wuss and stuff but I know for a fact there's Bigfoot in these woods I mean I heard them and whatever I heard that wasn't no person it damn sure wasn't no person, and it wasn't no normal animal that I've ever heard. It was scary. So, you know, my strategy is to let these things come to me. I parked here because there's a trail here where I got an opening shot. I got an opening shot down that road. And then if I walk back over, get back on that trail I can look back up the hill and get a little bit of a shot over there you never know you know my strategy is instead of hiking through the woods trying to find it maybe I ought to just kind of hang out here let it wonder what I'm doing and come to me I just want to get it on film but I want to be safe I want to be safe and I want to be able to get out of here I'm going to do another tree knock and see what happens.
this way that I'm pointing. If you go out through those woods a couple hundred yards, the land starts to drop, slope down. And uh, it goes into a creek bottom, which is, I think, that Sweetwater Creek. And, you know, yeah, there's something over here. To hear something back there. I'm getting up here right next to the door where I can jump in. It's real thick over there too. There's something moving around over there. I hear a squirrel barking over there. Unless it's one trying to mimic a squirrel. Trying to check and see what that black spot is down there. It looks like it's just a tree. So I've done four tree knocks. Haven't heard nothing. Oh, I just heard something. Listen. I mean, I can hear something way off in the distance that way. But I think it was a big dog barking. That's the thing, man. I mean, even the dog's barking is freaking me out because when we heard that thing mumble and then it barked just like a dog but like an aggressive bark like a dog that was you know pissed off getting ready to attack it was a it was a long ways away but it still freaked us out It still freaked us out, man. Sorry about the video, folks. I mean, it doesn't. I'm still hearing, still hearing stuff move on the other side of this road. doesn't look like we're, I'm going to get anything today. But it feels good just to get out of the house and get out here and to the wilderness, breathe in the fresh air and 
never know. It's too dark for this thing to, uh, it's a creepy looking thing from where I'm seeing it. It looks like a damn snake head over there, a big giant one. Yeah, I hear distinct barks. I think that's for sure a dog. I'm going to do a couple more tree knocks, and then I'll just call it quits. Squirrel's pissed off. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. He's raising hell. All right, y'all, I'm cutting the video. I tried, at least we're out here. You know, the more you get out into their territory, the more likely you are to come across them. So I'm gonna crank up and head out of here and find anything exciting or anything like that. I'll keep the camera in my hand and I'll turn it back on and hopefully catch something. But until then, you know, guys, just keep it real. Keep it real. That's what I try to do. I don't go out and make shit up. I don't go out looking for... 
I don't go out looking for, uh, you know, just quite frankly, I don't go out looking for faces in the woods like I see a lot of these people doing. And it's obvious that, you know, these aren't Bigfoot or anything. These are just shapes of the forest, you know. Shit looks weird, just like that big snake head I see over there, you know. Just like this blonde thing, I was trying to zoom in over there. Now I'm thinking, yeah, that's just probably some kind of uh, foliage. Because it's still there. And, you know, that's it. Just keep it real. You guys want real Bigfoot content? Come to my channel. Like and subscribe. Because eventually, I'll get something good out here. So, later on, guys.